Can you grow your forearms without spending extra time in the gym and with just a simple hand squeezer in 30 days? I decided to find out for myself. Hey all, it's your boy, John Atala, and I wanted to try another 30 day experiment and this time I decided to focus on my forearms. What inspired this experiment was I remembered I had this five below hand gripper, so I decided to try hand squeezing for 30 days to see if my forearms could grow just by squeezing without any other dedicated forearm exercises. And this would be nice because I could just be chilling at break, at work, or at home on the couch and doing these exercises. To kick off the experiment, I did buy a nice one from Amazon that has some really high intensities and was an awesome build quality. It was a little pricey, honestly, but I'm assuming I will never ever have to buy another hand gripper again. And I do have an affiliate link in the description if you like it after this video. My original one from Five Below, I already maxed out on the 90 pounds and the grips kept slipping in my hands every time I squeezed it, which was very annoying. Stupid grippies. So my day one stats. My forearms measured in at 12.71 inches for the left and 12.86 inches for the right. For the working weight, 104 pounds was very difficult yeah. on day one, so I usually stuck to the knob below that or I used the five below hand squeezer till my strength got more acclimated to the more challenging intensities. On the maximum setting though, I wasn't even close. If anything, it felt like my fingers were about to fall off and my forearm was so tired from squeezing so hard. So honestly, it wasn't a bad starting point though. I already had over 100 pounds of grip strength for reps and close to 13 inch forearms, which is pretty cool without major forearm training. So the plan was just to do sets of 10 to 20 throughout the day and do one in the morning, put it down for an hour. If I was back in my desk, do another set, go to work, do a set at break, etc. Basically, I just dispersed my volume throughout the day without a set plan and just squeezing when I could to see if I could grow my forearms without any specific dedicated training or real training plan, just by accumulating volume throughout the month, basically. Do you do dedicated forearm training? Make sure to comment down below. All right, it's June 12th. I'm taking a rest day because it's Sunday and I was doing some curls and my forearms almost gave out. I've been going pretty hard on the hand squeezers. So let's get a midway result just about, or I guess third, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we're about 13 now. So we grew a decent amount. The left, let's see the right. The left says 13.05. So that's pretty good for 12 days. We added about 0.25 on one of the arms and I think like 0.1 on the other arm. They're a little bit closer now. On my last strength test, the 104 was very challenging. So let's see where we're at now at 104. That was really easy. Also very easy. Well, that's not bad for not even two weeks yet. During the second half of the month, the amount of volume was starting to interfere with my bicep curling. My forearms would just absolutely give out and they'd cramp when I was just curling, which made it super difficult. So I did decrease the amount I was squeezing throughout the day so I could still get in my curling without feel like my forearms were collapsing and destroying my arms. Like I did say in the beginning of the video, there was not a set plan for how many sets I needed to do each day but I was still getting in at least five throughout the day and it was probably closer to 10 towards the beginning of the month. Honestly, I did surprise myself with the 30 day results though. After editing all the clips together, I saw my max squeezing strength improved a lot on the heaviest setting. And you can clearly see I'm closer to squeezing the two ends together on my right hand and especially the left hand, it definitely caught up a decent amount throughout the month. Now, unfortunately, this is the sad part of the story. My initial measurements for my forearms were amazing. On my right, I measured 13.5 inches, which would be almost a 0.7 inch increase in a month just from squeezing, which is awesome. And on my left, I got 13.3 inches, which would be about 0.6 increase, which is also incredible. The results seemed a little too good to be true, so I decided to measure again. And each time I measured, I ended up getting different results in my forearm. Next time I measured, I got 13.31, then I got 13.25, then I got 13.63. So what did I learn? I really suck at measuring my body parts consistently, but regardless, I was still able to get above my initial measurement of 12.86 for my right forearm, which indicates I definitely grew and my strength increased for reps, which also indi indicates I grew. 
I was not able to get below that 13.25 measurement, which definitely means I grew. Even if my initial measurement was a little off, I was not able to get below that. So would I recommend this type of training? Honestly, yeah, I don't see a reason not to. You don't need extra time in the gym dedicated to forearms. You just end up squeezing a hand gripper while you're just chilling watching TV or working on some other stuff. And your forearms can still grow. I do believe there will be a plateau you will hit without any other forearm exercises since it's only really one motion. But for people who just want to look good or get bigger forearms, this is a solid way. I mean, I was already close to 13 and then I blew past that in a month. So it's definitely a good way to train if you're not trying to do all the reverse curls and forearm curls while you're at the gym. And if you are going for that naturally enhanced look, like Alpha Destiny says, check out my video on how I grew my neck in 30 days. Peace.